So the marinara, in my opinion, is the pizza that really highlights the dough the best. We're gonna use our naturally leavened dough like we do for all of our pizzas. We flat, all of our pizzas are flattened out the same way. So there's no, the process you know, is yeah, the same. it's all the same. It's just, and again, this is a dough that is leavened only with sourdough or exactly. natural, we call it exactly. sourdough here, but it's really a natural leaven. Yeah, it's naturally no leavened, exactly. So it's just flour, water, and seeds. And Italian flour. Italian flour. With this one, we just, as a traditional marinara, we just use uh, the DOP San Marzano tomatoes. With this one, I use more sauce than I do uh, on the yeah. margarita. That's, uh, this is That's it's basically like double the sauce. Uh -huh. So right, this, is, this is salt. the D, yeah the DOP San Marzano is the coarse Sicilian sea salt, uh, fresh chopped garlic. So this is something different from a margarita. There's gar fresh garlic. Right, garlic. right. This is much more savory than the margarita. Uh, as far as flavor-wise, the marinara is easier to make. When you put the garlic and then we use uh, oregano that's grown in Campania outside Naples, so it's dried, it's really fantastic. Indeed. Take a smell. And, yeah, that's got it's a really, real pungent yeah, But it's not that weird oregano that we grew up with in pizzerias where you shake it. Yeah. Like, you know, where it's dead and medicinal. So there's definitely um, a difference between and using then what this I oregano. Do, right, what I do is I put it on as I crush it between my fingers to release more flavor as it goes on. I don't just throw nice. it Nice, and plus so. you can smell the aroma. Yeah, you smell now. it, yeah. yeah. And then uh, from that, we put some fresh basil. Again, well, basil all of our, okay. yeah, all of our pizzas that have basil, the basil goes on before it's baked. That's always the way we do it. And that's it, it's super, super Very simple. Very simple. Yeah. And, so, and then we just slide it on like we do with all of them. And I guess that you could argue the case that it doesn't improve it by adding other things. This is perfect in its own right. It is perfect. All right, so a little olive oil. A little olive and where, oil. And what kind of olive oil do you use? Uh, this oil is Sicilian, uh, grown by someone that we're friends with. I find that the oils that are grown near the sea generally work the best on pizza. They're lighter. If you get olives that are grown inland, like in Tuscany or inland, even in inland from Naples, like in Benevento, they're just heavier, they're more grassy, and they end up on the pizza with this high heat, almost tasting greasy in a sense, which is weird. So it's really- uh, It's coastal. Olives it that are needs coastal. to be coastal. Yeah, near the coast. yeah, in my opinion, well, yes. That is something new to me. I'd never heard that uh, definition before, but I think that's great information. And that's it. And then we're All gonna right, bake into it. Into the oven. Into the oven. So you, again, you put that so that shavings in there to get Ooh. a spike of heat. You got a big spike, spike of heat. One thing though that we used to have happen a lot is, you know, years ago we used to have the marinara was the cheapest one on the menu. So when people would come in that had never been in the place, they would almost always order a marinara. Always. One of the things that I love about your pizza, and we, and we don't see it, it often in most American pizzas, but more so now, is that that the, the crust, especially in the cornicion, is creamy. It's, it's, mm. it's moist and creamy, almost like custard-like. And to me, that's one of the great joys of a properly made pizza. I think that if you're gonna say the Naples-style pizza offers something that we don't see that often in America, that's it. And we yeah. don't see it that often here, but yours has it. When you bite into it, it, it's not dry, it's not starchy, it's creamy. Yeah, thanks. Here, do you want to try yeah, this? Yeah, I'd love to try it. Here you go. All right, let me try it with the fork. Mm. So you can, I can taste the, the the fresh garlic. But the dough tastes different, doesn't it, than on the other pizza? Even well, though it's why does it taste different? It's just, uh, I just think that the cheese adds something to the dough that kind of takes away the beauty. Without the cheese, you can taste the wheat. Yeah. You can taste yeah. the, the, the starter. You can I taste agree. a little bit of the complexity of the starter. Then the more you chew it, and at the end of the bite, there's a, there's a flavor that comes forth at the end that's from the, it's clearly from the, from the leaven. Yeah. That the creaminess of this dough and the crust comes forth, the complexity of the flavor, but there's, there's a depth that is in, almost intoxicating. 
the more you eat, the more you want. You don't experience that so often, especially I think, Anthony, one of the things that we've been talking about a lot with you is this combination of marrying the flour and the ingredients to the particular oven, to the particular temperature, and to the particular fermentation method that you're using. And, and, that, and that's something that you didn't just figure out overnight. It's not something you read out of a book. It's something that took you a lot of, <laughs> but you, you know, you, you took some learning, but, you, yeah, yeah. but it took a lot of trial and error and a number of years yeah. before you kind of zeroed in. And it still in. does. And, you know, and it's still an evolution. And that's after 30 years of making pizza. Yeah. You're, are you saying that the learning just continues on even after this long? Yes, right? yes, so you have to almost go back and then you start to question you know, little techniques that you've developed or bad habits that you've developed yeah. and you have to kind of break those. So here's the marinara pizza. Simple, basic, sauce, dough, little basil, some herbs, some garlic. Simplicity at its finest.